Hello everyone, this is Terhi Koskinen with another HipKit Club layout. I'm using January kits, which are really, really nice and lots of colors and actually a lot of colors. I mean different colors because uh, this is kind of a uh, fall theme uh, layout and I did one with the winter theme and one in a pink theme. So it's really versatile. So I added first some gesso on the background, a clear gesso, then some circles with pencil, and now I'm adding Haiti Swap texture paste through the stencil. Uh, this paste is really smooth, it's really nice, and it has this really, really nice golden uh, shade. You can see it now on the video that well because it was so dark when I recorded this, but you can see it here. It's really nice, it's really bright and smooth and really nice. Uh, I used January main kit papers to make this paper cluster and I chose to use this, this golden arrow paper as my kind of main paper. I want this layout to have a lot of uh, golden things on it together with some orange and blue, uh, blue green and red, so this is really bold with these colors, but it's nice. And I'm scrapping one of my favorite photos ever. It's me and my uh, horse Lotte. Actually, it's not mine, but, but in legal way. But anyway, <laughs> that's me and my dear friend. Um, uh, before adding the picture, I'm using some wrap ons to add more color to kind of uh, spread the colors of the patterned papers. These wrap ons were uh, from my mind's eye, I think. And it's a nice and easy way to add color on the background, and why not do the papers as well? But I'm using it on the background right now. Uh, this layout includes a lot of uh, different embellishments, which is kind of rare for me, but but really nice as well. Uh, I'm also using prats. Prats are nice. I haven't seen prats for a while, but this uh, this exact exact uh, prat was nice with this horse theme. I mean, look at that photo. Isn't that gorgeous? Uh, it, it has this kind of sensitive, sensitive feeling and a touchy moment and, well, I love the picture. Um, I use this circle punch to make more pieces of paper because I wanted to have some, some else shape than only uh, straight lines. So I added some, some circles here and there. And I also added a little more up on on the background. And then I thought it needs something more color on the background. So I took one of the shimmers paints from December kit and added some water together with it and then just uh, flick it on the background. I also uh, added a bigger uh, areas. Again, <laughs> I also added it to bigger areas uh, like this here and there to make it smoother and and nicer. But these shimmer pens are nice because they have so so light look. You can actually add them just like watercolor or something. And uh, I think this wouldn't actually need the gesso on the background because it it kind of spreads anyway. So now it's time to add the photograph and then add more embellishments. Uh, I'm using 3D foam to add the photograph and it kind of wasn't even and straight when I added it, but I change it later. Uh, I'm using great paper chipboard stickers and my mind's eye chipboard buttons and Cheap, um, regular stickers and <laughs> lots and lots of stuff. Uh, this is nice that you can actually do 
uh, embellishment clusters of these these embellishments you don't have to always do clusters from from um, flowers or or some well flowers might be the most in common thing to to make some clusters but i'm using these chipper stickers and other stickers and a brad and and that oh, all kind of that uh, i i really I do love these colors, even though I usually do more with blue and and more cold colors. These are really warm, but this goes perfectly with the picture because we have this brown horse in, in the picture. Uh, I'm adding these word stickers here and there to make more interest for this layout. It's always nice to see some words here and there, something to look at even though there is a lot of to look at on this layout. Uh, using a glue to add the brad because I don't want to, or it's impossible to add it in the regular way to this layout. So, that was it. I hope you like it and I hope you are inspired by this layout and my techniques. Um, thank you for watching and we'll see you soon again. Have a great day and bye!